All right, welcome to our second installment here of Soapbox Sunday. I got really good feedback on this series, so I'm going to keep doing them. I uh, might make them a little shorter than last time, but we will see. I was hoping to get another video or two out this weekend, but the sun and the moon and the stars did not align at all. Got a call Friday from my daughter saying, hey, I really need you and mom to come to, to Raleigh on Saturday. So I ended up in Raleigh up pretty much all day yesterday. But on a good note, that did work out because uh, a buddy of mine up that way had a uh, set of speakers that I was uh, wanting to pick up off of him and I uh, picked those up yesterday. So hopefully I'll make a video of those pretty soon. I got a little bit of inquiry on exactly what they are. They're, they're a little bit of a prototype or a mystery speaker. But stay tuned on that. Sometime this winter we'll do that. Um, and then, you know, I was really hoping to get back to the uh, single-ended KT88 amp. And the replacement chassis hasn't shown up yet. The uh, UPS says it should be here like Monday. So hopefully it'll get here and uh, uh, we'll get to that next week. Although next weekend I'm kind of busy as well. So we'll, we'll see what we can fit in. Not, not sure. No promises there. If not, we'll dive in hard the week after that. Uh, let's see. I was wanting to show you here on my uh, Bluetooth. This is my Blue Glow kind of channel uh, tab. And it just gives me some stats on things, analytics, views, subscribers. You know, I picked up quite a few subscribers recently, 706. Um, in the last 28 days, people watched 685,000 minutes of my videos. That just blows my mind. But um, anyway, I thought this was cool. We are now up to 11,500 subscribers, which is way more than I, I thought I would ever have. And uh, I've been thinking a lot about that. Um, when we get to 15,000, which I think we will see here sometime in the next few months, I want to give away this amplifier right here. If you'll remember it, it's the one that was a, it was a two-part video series. One was called A Tale of Two Maggies. And then the uh, one of those did not survive the tail. Uh, but then I went on later to uh, show you how to find a power transformer and replace it in that amplifier. And I've been thinking ever since then, how could I give this uh, amplifier away to my community? So one way, help me get to 15,000 views. So I share these with your friends and whatnot. And uh, our 15,000 subscribers. Um, and when we get there, we're going to... We're going to give that thing away. Help me figure out a way. You can make some posts, some replies to this. What's the best way to go about that? Um, you know, whether it's a drawing, a raffle, a random number generator. Uh, help me figure out the best way to give that out on a YouTube channel. I've done a few of those things in the past with my, my record label, and they're, they're more complicated than you think. Um, there, I will not wrap PayPal up into this. That turns into a nightmare with a raffle. Uh, this will be totally free to uh, some lucky viewer. So stay tuned for that. All right, I'd be totally remiss if I did not stop and just say thank you to all of my subscribers. It means a lot that you follow my channel. Um, you know, it means that something I'm doing must be right. And uh, so I'm going to keep doing it because uh, I love giving to the community and I love seeing this community grow. So I just want to thank you guys. Uh, you've been great. You give me lots of good feedback and comments and uh, I get lots of, lots of good emails from you. I just wanted to say thank you. All right. Well, enough with the soapy stuff there. Uh, no pun intended. Um, let's dive into a couple projects I've got coming up. And I just wanted to share with you guys, hopefully to get you excited, because it certainly gets me excited. But you guys may have seen or followed along over the years. Uh, there's this guy, and he put together this uh, little kit called the uh, Micro Tracer or U Tracer. Um, and they're up to version 3 at this point in time. And these things come as kits, and there's been just a lot of good uh, knowledge out there about this over the years. And uh, you can kind of see what one looks like. Well, uh, and there's some nice software that drives it or whatnot. But, um, you know, there's a, just a lot of uh, what I would call community around this. You can see here a lot of them that were built by various people. And somewhere along the way, this uh, this tube tester... Um, kind of read into some 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 limitations um, and this guy started working on the uh, the U Tracer 4 and then eventually he kind of abandoned the 4 and there's this guy named Chris Chang who kind of kind of wanted I think he kind of reached out to, to this these guys and said hey I'd be interested in partnering with you somehow in this uh, this next iteration version 
And I don't, I don't know how that went according to Chris's story. It didn't go so well. So Chris then um, kind of took, <laughs> I think he kind of reverse engineered maybe the, um, the micro tracer. And he created his own uh, tube tester called the E-Tracer. And I've been following this thing for a little over a year now. And basically it's not a lot different. Uh, so he wrote his own software here. Chris is out of China. Um, and there are a lot of people that are building these boxes. You can, you can pretty much buy a uh, complete solution like this right here from him. Uh, except for you, it totally has to be assembled by you. So it's, it's not a trivial undertaking. Um, and you can see some people here get get really elaborate with what they're uh, they're building on these things here. Yeah, somebody's building an uh, kind of auto auto switching uh, section for this thing using a bunch of relays. But it's it's got a great community, and that's what I love about it. And uh, this box right here that showed up from DHL this week here at my house. Uh, this is the uh, e-tracer. So I'm waiting anxiously to have some time. Um, I got to get this KT88 thing going on along. I've got a, another one I'll show you here in a minute. I got to get behind me. And then we're going to dive into this and both that um, the, new, the new QA401 audio analyzer both. But um, I thought we would build this, uh, this one here together as a uh, kind of a group project and uh, kind of show you how to do it and learn the software together and it should be a uh, everything i've been reading and talking with chris about it's a uh, pretty darn sniffy uh, uh spiffy uh tube tester not you know uh, i think all in on this thing with shipping and all i've got about 1100 bucks in this little box um so not the cheapest tube tester out there but um you know i'm all about computer integration with tube tester uh, I think there's some really cool stuff to be done there with, with tracing curves and whatnot. And I would also like a tube tester that's small enough to sit on my desk in here so I could sit here and test tubes and do other things. Today I find myself standing up, walking to the other room all the time to test tubes. So, I don't know. Stay tuned. It's going to be a fun project, I promise. And for you guys that are not Facebook fans, if you want to go look up this tube tester and be reading about it a little bit, just Google eTracer and it'll Chris's website will come up. Uh, one thing I like about his website, he's got a lot of videos on here about how to use it. Uh, so he's kind of a YouTube uh, fanatic like myself. But uh, check it out. Uh, we'll be building this thing. It'll be a, one of our winter projects. And check it out. We've got our Quantasylum uh, QA. 401 and uh, one thing you'll notice about this you know it's kind of USB fed on the back here um, but all the connections to it here on the front are BNC so what I'm the reason I haven't started on this unit yet is I'm having to kind of build my own custom audio cables at this point so I'm having to be able to go like BNC on one end here um, to RCA on the other end and I made me, I guess that's about a four foot cable. And I've, uh, I had to get some terminators that I'm going to need to use on this, on this unit. Some 75 ohm terminators. Um, I've got a nice little um, RCA plug here on one end. I mean, not RCA, um, uh, mini phono. And what I'm wanting to do is um, feed out of it with uh, similarly on the other end of this make a cable with two B and C. So there's a couple cables I got to make up and I'm waiting on some parts at this point, some coax, and I've got some B and C ends here. And I could not find my B and C crimper. It's probably been 15, 20 years since I've crimped a B and C cable. So I had to buy a new B and C crimper waiting on it. But you can see I got a couple things in the works uh, trying to get ready for this project. I'm pretty excited about this one. Okay, and as you can see, I've got a pair of leaked TL50s here on the bench I'm restoring. I've had these for quite a while now. Uh, individual sent them to me about a year ago. And I'm um, just slowly gathering some parts and other projects kept getting in the way. And then we decided to do to try to do some paint matching on the chokes because the paint was coming off of them. That turned into a couple month venture, but we're finally getting there. So um, as you can see, I'm slowly going through on this one. Uh, this was kind of original, and I'm, uh, I'm grinding away on these uh, components one by one. I might end up replacing pretty much all the components on uh, on these things. I'm going to do them to kind of 
kind of lasts a lifetime. So I'm excited. Stay tuned. Probably two, three weeks out, you should see a video here on the uh, pair of Leak TL50s. As you can see while I'm in here soldering, I've got paint drying on uh, these other components here. A lot went into uh, matching this paint up. We'll talk about that in the video. And as you can see, still got the old chassis. This is the new one that showed it up all, showed up all dented up. Just waiting on the new part to uh, to get back to this series. I'm, I'm super excited about it. I think I've came up with a name for this uh, amp. You'll hear more about that when I get there. One other cool item I picked up recently off of uh, Audio Karma here. You might recognize that it's a uh, Dynaco ST35, but it's a kit that comes from uh, Dyna Kit Parts. And um, I'm not sure why the individual didn't finish this project, um, but it doesn't have a power transformer. It has the two outputs, brand new capacitor, brand new chassis, brand new boards, um, just about everything except for is missing the power transformer. I think I picked it up for like a hundred bucks plus shipping, which I thought was a pretty good deal. So I'm gonna end up ordering the uh, power transformer for that. And I think I've got enough parts around here to finish out the rest of it. Maybe throw a, throw a uh, cover on top of it, but uh, stay tuned. That'll be another one of our fun winter projects around here. All right, I got a whiteboard over here to my right on the wall and I um, kind of write down uh, ideas I have for upcoming little video series and I just thought I'd read off a couple of them you guys could give me feedback down below. The first one I've got is how to draw uh, schematics using Microsoft Paint. I use Paint almost for everything. I know there's a lot of sophisticated tools out there but but for what I do, I absolutely love using paint. Although there is a little bit of a learning curve to it. So I didn't know if people would be interested in that or not. The second one, I'm going to keep going with my Understanding Tube Schematics um, series that I had started a while back. I thought I'd pick that back up again. Next one I had up was about how to use a Variac and why you really need a current meter and not just a Variac when you're bringing old vintage equipment up to life and help, understand, help people understand that a little better. I've got, a, I've got one here called, um, let's see, how to pack vintage gear. I thought that would be a cool one to uh, make as I go to pack these leak, these leak units here back up. I thought I would uh, show you how I professionally pack gear. Uh, I thought I'd do one on how to ship tubes appropriately because I buy a lot of them and the ones I get are not always packed appropriately. I, I thought this was a really cool one here. Um, how to do LED bias uh, for cathode bias on a uh, tube amplifier. So I thought that would be a good series. Actually, somebody asked me about that one, so I plugged it in. And then I've got one, and this is probably my favorite one. How to find and keep a good amp tech. Hmm. Let's see what that one's all about. But um, yeah, let me, give me some feedback on these and maybe some others you'd like to see some series on. Thanks for watching, everybody.